Salesforce for the construction industry allows us to streamline the job management process in the way that jobs are created. So if we migrate over to a bid and we come here to associated supply, we can see that this is at the closed one phase. So if I then come over to projects, I can see that I've got this task rate project here. This was closed out today, um, this opportunity. So that's when this task was created. So we'll click on this task. And so you'll notice a couple things. First of all, we didn't start at just triage. We came all the way to contract and service. So that's an automation we've built into Salesforce. And we've also built in this time keeping piece right here. So we're able to add different pieces of this. So we will come to say, you know, we've got this rough electrical piece right here and we'll click save. And then that will add that up there. Perfect. So underneath here, what we've got is just everything that's going to be due tomorrow and then week after that. So if I click on this, what this will do is then bring me into a view where I can edit this task and collaborate through this task. So as I can see, I've got this task rate task, rough framing, I'm the owner, and we're able to see the estimated end date should take about two days. And so if we come back here and we go over to the plan view, what that is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to see a Gantt chart of the entire project and all the dependencies that we have to look at. So if I come over here, I can see a complete timeline of everyone that is going to be responsible for this. So are we going to have an architect or a specialty contractor? Um, or am, is it going to be a user itself? So if we come over here at the team, we can understand all of the members that are on this team. And we can assign this to either a queue or we can assign it to a particular user. And we can set a new baseline here. So we are going to put this as the baseline date. So this will track any changes that we make here. So I've got this 10, 19, 21 baseline. So if there are any discrepancies to this, if things have to be moved out, which can easily be moved out just like that. I'm going to be able to see how it can conflicts with that timeline. And then over here, I can see the project team itself. So I can actually take a look at everyone who's been assigned that, whether it be a queue or a user, the architect team, the carpentry team, as many resources as need here that are either specific users or queues of people. So all of this can be exposed for your internal users, and they can also be exposed in the experience cloud portal. So you can have that instantaneous collaboration with those resources. So really what this does is it gives you a good way to track time, to track the project, any dependencies, any predecessors, as well as to understand the team, the tasks, and any groups that will be associated here. So it makes things a lot easier to be able to identify bottlenecks in the project early or to identify users that are not allocating enough time. So from that bid, we then create the project, which we can tie to multiple submitted bids or just a single bid, depending on the project, for you to be able to track the success as well as the profit margin of this job.